I certainly remember this like these missions like to be very very long because I used to play them and do everything but the objective mission so I, I would like build a ultra mega city and for nothing like I would like spend half an hour building a lot of, of stuff uh, just to know how much I could like expand an empire with the limited buildings the game gave me every single in every single mission very pointless if I look back but I had a great time doing it and I'm saying this because the battle of Starling uh, on that quest like we just have to build an army and attack the English in a little outpost outpost they have and that's like very easy but as I said I would like build everything and just just for fun the time for minor skirmishes is over we now prepare for war the villain long chance is poised across the river forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms heavy cavalry and a multitude of archers our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the english before they can ready their troops we are very dead <laughs> <laughs> let's see objectives defeat the English army and destroy their tower like that's it but like I would like build in a super city and be happy with it basically the time has come to take the offensive the English have a fort near the town of Stirling if we can defeat the English here they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and keep making villagers at your town center until you have 10. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. You can gain you more. You can do it as well with right clicks like this. To create fishing ships. Have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Already if done. Sheep, sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center. And assign a villager to gather food from beautiful ships. You will die. I would swear here there were some ships. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Oh no. Just deers. They will die as well. I will farm the meat out of you. close to an English base, you better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about 12 soldiers. Destroy him! Oh, ships. Extra food. 
like he will destroy it eventually In fact, now that I remember, I used to thought that this blurry like grass was like um, some kind of road, so I would w build everything around it. Yes, he died near the mill. That's better. Funny thing, lol, <laughs> there is fire. Funny thing is that the AI can't uh, like attack outside, the, outside these walls because like there is no, there is no gate, mm, just wood walls. Like all of that are, is wood. Also it's built with, with wood. And you can build it from the start of the game, like this. That yellow area is new because that wasn't on the original version, but the original version was built for Windows 98, so it's very old. So feudal, feudal age, we, here we go. And she is killing these little deers. To protect your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Oh my god. Click your town center, then click town bell. Good! You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. I'm just gonna kill the AI as fast as I can. Uh, whatever. Once I am on the feudal age, I can build farms, and I no longer now that you've reached the feudal age, depend on sheep or deer soldiers to fight the enemy. You will to gather food. Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms at the barracks. Although I depend on wood, but farm. there's plenty. Like as you can see, there's plenty wood around. Like farm uses almost half half what a tree gives, like three gives hundred, and a farm uses sixteen. 60, 60, 60 wood, so it's half a, uh, half a tree. A representative, that's a lot. That's weird. That's weird indeed. Let's see if I can kill the AI. Hmm, I don't think so. Oh. 
die, motherfucker, die. I have to run. Well, that didn't went so well. So this is a basic economy, eight farms, like ten is more, more appropriate, but we are doing quite well. Then you have to build like this lumber camp so they can leave wood near um, in an in a nearest in the nearest point or like in a place that's near them uh, instead of the town center because the town center is so far and then the the three points won't load so as fast because they have to walk or all of this and that is like a lot of time that it takes so we're gonna build Don't more forget. units keep exploring the map fuck exploring I don't give a fuck I just have to kill him and kill his tower. In fact, I don't even need rangers. Like I have, I, I can build like archery and unstable, but I will just overrun him with a lot of these two units because I'm too lazy to do it as you saw there like you you can build over broken trees and they will just disappear and all the wood that they they give is lost forever a little trick There are other ways to destroy trees like with attack units. Those are more unique methods. Kid. Need more houses. More houses. I believe um, they have changed the create the creation times for units and for researching stuff. I feel it like it's faster than before. Maybe my my imagination, but I'm not entirely sure. But it could be. Now this button, receipt farm. That's uh, that's new. That was introduced in the first expansion, um, the Age of Conquerors. I, I guess it was Conquerors, the one that has the the blue hat instead of the red now hat. Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Holy shit! Charge! Keep your Charge! Working just in case you suffer casualties. I need to make more troops. 
fucking overrun. As I was saying, re the Reset Farm button was introduced on the first expansion for the game on the, re the original Remember releases. To upgrade your weapons and arms at the blacksmith. Can't you, you just shut up? No, I don't have it. Fuck you. <laughs> this freaking button was introduced in this in the second no in the first expansion. And what it does is that you can pay on advance for receiving farms. So if a farm like run out of food, uh, the system will like. I have for five farms here to pay, so if five farms like past like die, they get rebuilt with that wood. Done cut, done cut. Bit fear. These are more than enough units, so I'm gonna oh, end the game. Also, another thing that's new on this Age of Empires is that you can like have been have selected more units, and you can assign them a select button, like with Control and One, Two, Three. As you can see, I can change it. That allows us to select, for example, I I want to be like having group one and group two, so I can control them like this, so I have access to the units faster. That's that's good for micro microing units. So this this came to an end. Weird. It should be done by now. Are there any units left? Oh, there. There. If I don't kill the units, I can't win. You have destroyed the English camp. A battle of Sterling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Good job! You've eliminated the English soldiers. Now destroy that tower and our victory will be complete. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game. The most common type of game in Age of Empires. Sterling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word came in that the Sterling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the Hammer of the English. Edward Longshank's name's Wallace a traitor and a criminal. 
But Sir William replies that he cannot be a traitor, since he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. Thank God Wallace was called the Hammer of England and not the Black Hammer. <laughs> 